Hello, it's Terry from PS333 Guitars, and I want to give you a quick update. Um, I probably should have taken more videos than I did, and I'm sorry for that, but I'll kind of bring you up to speed where I'm at. So, I uh, purchased this Honey Amber Trans Tint, um, Amazon, and I added it to some water. So... I've had some warm water in here and uh, I just kept adding the tint and putting on uh, some layers. I basically um, been using these uh, white professional shop rags. Um, seem to be pretty lint free. They haven't given me much trouble so I got a whole box of them here. I just pull out one and I soak it in the uh, the end in the, in the tint and I rubbed it over the entire body here of the of the guitar and uh the i it took me probably uh two or three layers on there before i was happy with the tint that i got from it um i did the both the front and the back with the tint and i just kept uh Putting the yellow on there until I, I got the yellowish color I wanted. I mean, some people might like it lighter and some people might, might like it darker. But nevertheless, I, uh, I've i been day by day adding layers and layers and layers of this uh, True Oil. Birchwood Casey True Oil Gunstock Finish. Um, it's winter here in Michigan and it's freezing outside and I have no good place to paint or seal or finish this body so I wanted to do it the true oil way and uh, I kind of like the natural beat it up um, just kind of keep it wood and play it and let it get nicked up and dinged up and eventually kind of worn and and played and uh, gritty and, and so I'm kind of going for that look um, so <clears throat> I've been applying this uh, daily and uh, they say between the applications you should use a double o uh, steel wool so i've been coming back through and hitting the uh, steel wool you can see the binding is uh, turning out pretty nice as it's covering it up so i kind of switch between the front and the back i come in and i do the front and then i flip it over after a day or two i'll, I'll uh, hit it with the triple double o and i'll trip turn it over on the carpet and i'll hit the back and the sides and then i'll hit the for a couple days and then I'll uh, continue to use the triple O between the coatings and then I'll flip it back over so um, <clears throat> learning a lot as I go through this if I ever did the binding again um, I would go with a thicker binding I found I went with 80 thousandths binding which is two 40 thousand strips you can get a single strip but the reason I went with with thinner strips is because they said it was easier you know, or it was kind of difficult to make these turns here um, with thicker binding. So I thought a couple of thinner ones would be easier, which it was easy to, it was easier to, to keep it in place um, here. So I, uh, I went with the thinner one, but I, I would go with thicker binding because the, the binding got a little bit thin in this area here. And as it's coming around here, it, it's, it's a little bit thicker on this side, um, which I, I much more prefer. Uh, the binding is very, very easy to scrape down. You know, I use this uh, scraper here from Stumac, and it's very, very easy to scrape the binding down once it's in place. So I would go with probably 125, uh, uh, maybe 150, and then uh, scrape it all in nice, leaving myself a lot of room. And I'd put a very thick piece, probably a uh, 60 thou or more, on the outside I do a 60 and uh, maybe I'd even do like a 60 20 60 or something like that or 60 30 60 or something maybe a white line in the middle I don't know um, but I would definitely go with a thicker binding with uh, the outside being thicker because as I was kind of as I was uh, scraping it down some of the binding on the outside um, it's hard to see here I'm gonna try and focus in on it a little bit but some of the binding on the outside uh, started to um, Kind of come loose not come loose but just got really really thin so i got a plan to fix this here um <clears throat> to make sure it's nice and solid black all the way around everywhere else it's it's really nice and solid and it looks good 
and uh, I like the black binding. It kind of separates that top real nice. So um, you see black in all the holes, which is a uh, electrical paint. I bought this uh, um, conductive shielding paint. Um, I figured that it can't hurt. I don't know exactly what it does, uh, but I read a little bit about it, and I wanted it to be black in the holes anyways because ugly blonde wood in there versus a nice black. Um, <clears throat> I'm using chrome hardware, and uh, actually, I'll put this on here. I'm using chrome hardware here, and uh, a couple debates going. My dad says I should use gold. And uh, some people say, no, you should definitely use black. Black would really pop well on this, but I don't know. I uh, got all my money in the chrome, and I think I'm going to go chrome on this one. Hardware, I guess I can always change out. Um, the pickup is chrome, so I guess I can get a gold or black cap. But uh, I think I'm going to stick with the chrome on this one. You can see the maple neck. I still have to finish off the maple neck. Haven't been doing much with that. I just have to level the frets, which uh, are pretty darn good right now. But I just want to touch them up a little bit and uh, put a couple of uh, coats of True Oil on the on the neck. I got a good fit in the neck, po neck pocket, and I'm also debating on going with uh, bolts in the neck instead of screws. There's a bolt kit where you can uh, actually um, drill and sink threads in your neck. And then you can run a bolt through the holes here and uh, and then screw into the back of the neck with a bolt. And uh, they say it's a better hold. Uh, I don't know. i got to do a little more research, but we'll see what happens. And uh, I'll try and take some more videos as I'm going along here and keep you up to speed. So if you've got any questions or comments, uh, feel free to throw them on there and I'll try and answer them as I'm going along. Hope you're having a great day. Talk to you soon.